going on everybody my name is dark knight 4225 and today i had just received my ddr5 32 gigabyte ram so the reason i got this is i've been recording some games and whatnot and they've been lagging and i've been re and i looked into it and i've been realizing that i don't have enough uh ram in memory so i got this here uh today we will be putting this in my Zephyrus G14 2022 model. So let's get started. All right, guys. So here it is. I just took it out of its package, and this is what it came in. Set that off to the side. So today I will be installing the Crucial DDR5 32. Now, this thing does come with a built in 8. Uh, gigabytes of RAM so if I remember correctly uh, that is 40 gigabytes of uh, RAM which should be plenty I think this is the highest you can you can go uh, I've I've talked to some other people about uh, this one here and they said it works great with this model so today with this is what 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 we will be installing and today for the teardown I have the hyper tough uh, 77 piece uh, electronic repair kit which really I use this for just about everything between laptops and my knives and so on and so forth so this is what I will be using to tear it down all right Flip. all right so before we get started uh, disassembling this, first we're going to need to uh, turn off the laptop. Alright, so we go right here, go to power, and shut it down. Alright, while that's shutting down, we're going to get our stuff ready. And go at it back around alrighty so you're gonna want to use a small uh, Phillips screwdriver and there are 11 screws four up top four in, or three in the middle and four down below uh, just to let you know if you guys do end up taking this apart uh, these three here are the smaller the smallest screws the two in the top uh, corner right next to the hinges are the longest screws so hypothetically if you guys ever got that mixed up uh, you know there it is for you so we will now take this off this is my first time doing this and I'm personally gonna just leave these screws in here only because I don't want to get that mixed up so place that down alrighty boy look at this guys isn't this beautiful uh, as you can see here, you got your battery. Now remember, this is off, and you're going to want to make sure it is off. Sorry, that's my wife in the background eating. So, right here is your, if I can pull it back there, <laughs> this here is your storage. I'm not going to touch any of that graphite, because... I do not want to be repairing that right now but right here right here is your upgradable RAM and as you guys can see here if I can find there it is this is what I'm looking for um, as you can see here you might be able to see actually no we're gonna we're gonna use this little tool here right there kind of has like little notches on the end I don't short something out is your RAM and I believe underneath of that oh no right there here let me see if I can't uh, zoom in there right there is your uh, 8 gigabytes of built-in RAM so alrighty so the first thing we're gonna need to do which I have absolutely no idea about. I'm gonna see if I can't fold that back a bit. 
you guys can see. Now, I know not a lot of people have actually shown this at all. But the way you take this out, because I've been trying to figure out this whole time and trying to watch YouTube videos. But what there is, is there's two small pieces of metal right here. Let's see if I can't bring that in a bit more. And it is really easy. You just grab them and you push. Oh, you can't see my fingers. But you, uh, <laughs> you push outwards on those two edges. And it just kind of pops right up. It's like a spring. So, like I said, no one had shown that because I was trying to figure it out and just couldn't figure it. So, alrighty. I'm not going to touch this because this is still good. And I don't want to get my fingers all over those, the spine there. But yeah, so there's the 8 gigabyte. And we are going to be putting a new one in. So uh, let's get into that there. Alrighty. And we can already tell right off the bat with just both of them, really quick before I keep going, is the new one. You can tell it has a lot more boxes, I guess, but that is the the processing power. And you can tell it's both sides there, and it's only on one side here. So you're you can already tell that this here, if it'll focus in. If this you you can tell that this here will just be way quicker, not by the look of it, even though the look. It's just uh, absolutely beautiful. So we are going to want to make sure that, man, I don't know why it keeps focusing on right here, probably because it's bigger, but we're going to make sure that the label is on top. We're going to want to put the, I call it the spine, but the coils first. want to give it a nice little, nice little push. To hear a nice snap in and then we push down on it on equal sides they both should snap in if it's not placed in correctly you might want to take it out and re put it back in just make sure that everything is even and then push it down evenly there we go, nice and tight. And, and now, you put that down, you put all 11 screws in, and there you have it. Power it on, and enjoy your 40 gigabytes of RAM. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, please write down in the comments below. And please like, share, and subscribe to more videos like this and other things that I really enjoy doing. And I hope you guys do as well. So, alright guys, I will see you in the next one.